What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for PayPal with the ticker symbol PYPO. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, it does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So it looks like to me PayPal is undeniably inside of a downtrend. As you can see before, previously the price action was being supported by the EMA and every time we came up to it we got a bounce and the corrections were um, below the EMA but eventually price action popped up above it and the corrections did not stay long below it and then eventually the price action rallied outside, broke through the EMA and started to find some type of support again. However. The price action structure has changed as you can see here 90 to 95 percent of these price bars are below the ema now and now we're finding resistance at the ema so that's why i believe paypal is in a downtrend now and not a uptrend so that means we will continue lower in the future unless the downtrend is over and we will have to see signs for that but as of right now um, there possibly is no signs yet because it looks like we possibly could be inside of this downtrend right here as you can see here, this channel line is acting as both support and resistance. And every time we come up to it, we find some type of um, bounce from the lower side to the higher side and the lower and the higher side to the lower side. So it looks like this channel is in play right now for currently for PayPal. And we recently got that re rejection from the EMA and the channel line that I believe to be here. And you can also see that PayPal was inside of a small range, which is known as a congestion for several days. And we recently broke outside of it. And usually that breakout side is a trap. Normally um, breakouts don't last that long. And this looks like it could just be a trap to trap in all the longs and then continue lower. So if that does play out, then we could hit the back side of the channel, which is right around that high 160s. And then if we eventually continue to trend lower, I'm going to have to use a measured move. And the measured move that I see is the size of the range. So normally when price action breaks outside of a range, it makes the same distance out of it. If it's a success, successful breakout. And it looks like we could be doing that. We're on track to doing that. So that's why I still see PayPal continuing to drop in the future. And that price action level would be right around the 148, 149 level. And we just have to wait and see if PayPal wants to drop this low. There is some type of strong support at this 175 level. So that's why we're seeing some type of congestion here. But I still, I still think they want to continue to drop the market lower just because the EMA is pointing down. It's very aggressive, this breakout. Um, we're possibly still inside of this downtrend. I think I have it drawn correctly because um, how the price action is fitting inside of it and the bounces we've been getting from the lines. So I believe this channel is drawn properly and we have to wait to see how it plays out. Like I said before in my other previous PayPal videos, the uptrend is over and we'll have to wait to see a start of a new one. But as of right now, the previous uptrend is over because we had a break outside and a move to new high and then a reversal. So this was the uptrend previously PayPal was respecting inside of. It was making higher as higher lows and then PayPal showed, showed signs of weakness by breaking outside of the channel and then moving up to retest the previous highs and it made a new one in a form of a double test. So you can see this was the first test and a double. this was the double test. Price action cannot break through this level so it started testing. It cannot test this level any longer so it started reversing and started to test other levels and now it's not really finding any, sub, to any type of support so that's why we've been selling off. So this is just known as a triple top, a double test of a new high in place. So it's just a pretty much perfect price action is what you expect PayPal to do. You can see that it was trying to just move sideways, but the buyers cannot hold up this market and the chart to sell off. The sellers came in the market. So that's why I still think we're going to continue lower for PayPal. Um, we could get a breakout pullback setup which is where price action is inside of this congesting range as you can see here let me zoom in a little closer you can see that all these price bars are uh, squished together and there was a breakout side and a pullback so we could get the second leg up maybe to the 206 level let's see if we do get a bounce from here where would the second leg up would be 
that's the first leg up this would be the second leg up so like i said right around the 205 206 level but that's a maybe i think we might just continue lower um from next week it looks like it's been starting to sell off already and we might just fall inside of the range and break outside on this side the lower side because the market is symmetrical and we might continue to drop into the one the mid 160s or the high 160s and eventually probably even the measure move target <clears throat> i think that's more likely but we could get that second pullback and then start dropping lower because we still got to get a retest of the lows even if we do get a break outside the channel so that's pretty much my analysis for paypal on the daily chart let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart so here we have the weekly chart for paypal and as i said earlier you can see that there is some type of support pretty strong at the 176 177 level but that doesn't mean it has to hold or we we have to reverse from here we could break through it and continue to trend lower we'll just have to wait and see but i think the price action will blast through it just because look at all these previous price bars you can see that's pretty much since october all the candles in the week of closes have been red and now we just finally got a break right now last week but it's really not that strong of a bullish candle so I still think we're continue we're gonna still continue to trend lower and there might be a pullback in the future because we are getting extended from the EMA but I think they might want to just continue selling it hard to reach the targets and then start reversing but we have to wait and see how um, the market wants to play out another thing is that in this uptrend you can see that the bulls take the stairs and the bears take the elevator and that's just a saying in the market because usually the price action starts to sell off faster than it has gone up and you can see that it took about several months to get to this uptrend and now almost half the time has been taken so far and we already or less than half the time maybe three four months and we have retraced about 50 percent of that which which took about eight to seven months so you can see that the bear markets are much faster and harsher just another thing to point out but other than that, I think we're still going to continue trend lower. I don't really see any bullish signs. I'm not going to come over here and lie to you just to get um, positive likes and stuff. You know, like, I'm not going to say, hey, guys, we're going to $500 tomorrow. You know, I'm not going to be just drawing random lines right here. Oh, look at this arrow. And if I drag it up, it looks like the target is um, 520, you know, or 40. That's not how you do it. You know, I'm not going to come here and just do... Um, get the likes and views this is how i would see the market and just showing you guys my opinion but this is this is all i see as of right now um if anything changes then i'll change my perspective but i still think we're continuing lower uh, i don't really see any bullish signs but maybe the downtrend is showing signs of weakness so we could see a reversal soon but other than that i still think we're going to hit that the high 160s or mid 160s and then probably even that measured move we'll have to see if the market wants to get that far down but uh, um there's a possibility um, as of right now. So thank you for stopping by and check out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.